10 Things That Asian Guys Hate, the 2022 edition. David, it's been several years since we made lists analyzing Asian people, but we're back at it. Hey man, this might apply to you. I think it does, but even if it doesn't, we just made it up. Hey guys, let us know what you think in the comments down below. Please hit that like button. And without further ado, let's get started with the list. The number one thing that Asian guys hate right now is the current crypto crash. Oh my gosh. Bruh. Things are down 70% off the peaks. Nobody knows where the bottom is. And let's be honest, Andrew, much more than the stock market, even though a lot of Asian guys are into stocks, you know, Web3, Metaverse, NFTs, crypto, these things are disproportionately Asian. I mean, I would say the Asian population is what, 6%? These things are at least, what, 30% Asian? That's a 5X, Andrew. That's like NBA numbers. I mean, you're talking about things that have to do with computers, who's oftentimes on the computer. A lot of Asian guys are. A lot of Asian guys are engineers, coders, builders, whatever you want to call them. They're involved in this stuff. And... And a lot of Asian guys are left holding right now. Yeah, and a lot of the CEOs of the crypto exchanges, not all of them, of course, are Asian. Yeah. So number two, another thing that Asian guys hate right now is having wide feet when it comes to basketball sneakers. Yeah, this is a little bit of a, a sneak attack one because people are probably wondering why this one's so high. But uh, I made the list, guys. Um, if you play a lot of basketball with a lot of Asian guys, you would understand that probably about 40% of Asian guys have really wide forefoots. That is a genetic trait of being Asian. That's why you have to buy the Nike EPs or the Jordan PFs or get the Asia versions or certain Adidas shoes are kind of wide and the New Balance makes the widths or whatever. But at the end of the day, Andrew, I got to order my stuff from Taiwan or China. Hey, man. Wide feet means you're stable. Not going to fall. Yeah. And you know what else they have Asian fit for? Ray-Ban sunglasses. Yes. Yes. That's maybe on the list of things Asian guys love are the Asian fit. Anyways, uh, number three, uh, another thing that Asian guys hate is how that a lot of the Asian hip hop bars and nightclubs have closed down in recent years. Guys, if you're in New York and ever heard of anything called like Fat Buddha or Ichi Umi, these were primarily Asian clubs. LA, even Arena shut down. Arena, K-Town K shut down. Guys, so all over the place, um, a lot more bars and nightlife that is popping up, especially, you know, for a primarily Asian demographic are going to be more EDM based. That I understand, even though a lot of Asian guys did like hip hop a long time ago and still like hip hop. There's not a lot of venues that are going to be playing hip hop yeah. for Asians. Because I mean, obviously to be honest, as a owner with liability, hip hop brings a lot more risk exposure. You have to sometimes do weapons check. You have to watch for this element and that element that is unfortunate. But man, I'm telling you, hip hop was so big in the Asian community from Andrew, like the year 2000 to like 2013. If you grew up during those years, you miss it. Number four, the fourth thing that Asian guys hate right now is, of course, and we talked a lot about it on our channel. People probably could uh, suspect that this is coming. The anti-Asian hate. Man. I mean, this is such a big thing. And I'll say why. First of all, a lot of people hate yeah, this. Yeah, who all does Asians. it? Who? Yeah, like anybody, everybody hates it to super hates it. Everybody Asian hates it, right? For sure. And then even a lot of non-Asians still also hate it. But I will say Asian guys are oftentimes in this certain position because we feel like, you know, as men and as masculine men, you are, you know, supposed to be the protectors or intimidate people or- That is you the know, conventional structure in uh, society. Exactly. And sometimes as an Asian guy, it really frustrates you because you feel like you can't always be out there. You're not on the police. You're not on a patrol team. And honestly, even if you're buff and intimidating, these people are not going after you. They're going after the weakest, you know, smallest, most vulnerable people, which is, you know, elderly and a lot of women. So it's like, and it's crazy because I think so many Asian guys wish they could be there because when you watch the videos, it's so infuriating. And it's true. I haven't even seen one where they went after a strong Asian guy, not even one time. I didn't even see one out of 50. Yeah. So it is frustrating, and that's definitely one of the things Asian guys hate a lot. All right, number five, uh, another thing that Asian guys hate on a less serious note is that there's no real good Asian cars right now. Yeah, I mean, it's all Tesla. It's Tesla everything. And even though Teslas, they don't really feel like Cadillacs in that like old-timey American type of way. I mean, I think a lot of Asian guys like Toyotas and Hondas, Lexuses and Acuras. You know what I mean? Uh, Nissan. Scion had a moment for a second. But like, you know, we're just used to like some of the dopest like cars out at the moment being from Asia, whether that's Japan or Korea. But uh, they're just not right now. Like nobody got a fire whip. People got some cars that are great values. Yeah. 
you know, but just right now the whip to get is a Tesla. I mean, it kind of feels like a lot of the guys who are maybe more into the JDM scene back in the day with, they have money, they got a Tesla or they got like a Porsche or a BMW now, you know, more of the non-Asian brands, Range right? Rover. Still great cars, of course, but just non-Asian brands. So I do think Asian guys would like to see a resurgence of the Asian car brands. I'm waiting for you, Lexus. All right, number six, uh, another thing that Asian guys hate in 2022 uh, is some Asian women treating above average white guys like they're superstars like Brad Pitt or ba Bradley Cooper. Yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, I mean this is just something that like Asian guys have kind of hated for a long time, but I guess it still bothers a lot of them in a small way. I think it ranges. Some Asian guys are very bothered by it all the way to some Asian guys. I don't care it, who don't you care. are. If you say that this doesn't bother you, just stop lying. Stop trying to seem cool because you get, you know, you do so well. I, I, you don't care. Of course, Asian guys would care because it's like, yeah, I get it. This like one rotation above average white guy. He looks a lot more like Bradley Cooper than I do. But that doesn't mean you got to treat him like he's actually Bradley Cooper. By the way, I'm not saying this to everybody. I'm just I, I just feel like this is something that Asian guys are going to have to deal with uh, for the next couple decades. It is what it is so figure out a way to deal with it i guess go for fob chicks yeah anyways um point number seven another thing that asian guys hate right now is not getting the huge 10x bump that a lot of korean guys are getting now what i'm saying is this is not just coming from a chinese guy i'm saying all other non-korean asian guys or even korean guys who don't fit into the k-drama k-pop look right now can probably feel this sentiment. Yeah. I mean, let's just put it simply this way, guys. I think Asian guys are all like tokens and the value of that token has anywhere from like 2X to 3X over the past like five years. But certain Korean guys, to your point, that really fit that look that are Korean, they probably 10X over that same period. Yeah. Uh, it's like different cryptos. I mean, yeah. all cryptos and I want to be clear, guys, the Hallyu, the Korean wave, uh, it definitely has helped, I think, Asian guys in general and Asians in general. But of course, the people closest to the blast zone, closest to the epicenter of this earthquake that's shocking the world, they're going to get uh, gonna We used to most. have a Vietnamese fob worker, and he was like, hey, man, I wish I was Vietnamese. I wish I was Korean, man. They're getting all the girls. <laughs> Uh, he did actually kind of sound like that. No joke. All right. Anyways, um, number eight, another thing that Asian guys hate is that, uh, the expectation that first dates are supposed to cost this much. Yeah. 250 on up is crazy, man. All right. Obviously this is like 250 for a first date. This is probably applying to guys who work in finance and living in the big city. I get it. We live in New York. This, this is sometimes the expectation, but some, I've some done Asian, it. I've done it. And I'll tell you this, I'm not doing it anymore. Yeah. Moving forward. I'll tell you this. Some Asian guys get stuck in this mindset because they're like, I want to show, I want to put forth the richest version of me. Mm -hmm. I want to take this girl, whether she's Asian or non-Asian to a nice Asian restaurant. And traditionally those and, are omakase. Those are Japanese restaurants and they are expensive. And it's like, unfortunate i mean it just is this what it is but like sometimes i feel like um an asian man's masculinity is more tied to his pocketbook than maybe for other groups yeah because like maybe i don't know maybe guys the height is missing asian bros there's another way to do it do not get stuck in this mindset you won't have to anyways 250 is crazy ridiculous point number nine uh, another thing that asian guys hate is not having specifically asian bro representation in media while i gotta say of course asian male representation has gotten way better over the past 10 years in media uh shout out to everybody but a lot of a lot of guys and maybe they're being too picky but they're specifically looking for something very very uh uh i guess specific yeah i mean i would say for somebody to kind of act like maybe leonardo dicaprio Leonardo DiCaprio actually, from what I know, is uh, a very bro-ish dude. Maybe not his characters are, but he's almost like more like Matt Damon's character. I'm like, hey, you like them apples? Oh, like he kind of acts like that off camera. Yeah, I mean, he's out there slaying uh, many, many, and many. Yeah. Anyways, uh, dating Rihanna. He dated Rihanna. That's pretty cool. I would like to see an Asian guy date Rihanna. Um, but yeah, there's no basically like... There's no, like, there's no like Michael B. Jordan or Leonardo DiCaprio I, guy. I think we're getting there, guys. And the 10th thing that Asian guys hate in 2022 are other Asian guys who they feel like are holding the group back by not trying to better themselves. Listen, our bottom rung guys 
the bottom is kind of defining the image still. Yeah. So if everybody tries a little bit harder and does better, our overall image will come up. I think there's a macro wave behind Asian guys' backs. You know, obviously some more, some less, but it's there for everybody. And to see some guys like not trying or have already given up to the point where it's like, you're waiting the water for so long for a wave and the wave is finally here and you refuse to ride it. I've seen a lot of guys be really frustrated by brothers, cousins, mm -hmm. you know, people in their extended family, just being like, bro, you can't be broken and just at home playing games with the, you know, JAV or whatever, you know, and this and that, like you got to like get on this so we can all come up. Yeah. Um, and then uh, that wraps it up for 10 points, but I'll just throw on uh, number 11 as a bonus. I think a lot of Asian guys hate other Asian guys who don't care about the community at all. Mm. And I think this is obviously coming up and there's a resurgence of this, uh, you know, in the past few years for the Asian hate stuff. But I do think a lot of Asian guys are like, listen. It's almost like AZN Pride again, yeah. because if you guys know why AZN Pride popped up, it was because the 90s was so gang centric that you had no yeah. other choice. Yeah, and now maybe it's not exactly gang centric, but it is like, hey guys, like we can all help and contribute. We all work very hard. We're all able-bodied. We're all smart Asian dudes. So let's try to do something, whether I'm gonna try to teach people financial freedom and give them stock tips, or I'm gonna help them work out, or I'm gonna talk about Asian issues with them. Like whatever you can do, do something that can help your community. Yeah, I think that people who are willing to maybe sell out the livelihood or, or clearly don't care while benefiting from the community, but clearly like don't actually in their heart care, it, it's more offensive to people now in 2022 than it was five years prior. Yeah, I mean, I think to wrap this point up, in several years ago, it used to be like, all right guys, Asian guys just get money and by all means, whatever, do your thing. But now they're like, hey, we all kind of know how to get money let's go get the community something too now for sure i mean honestly if you especially if vulnerable people are going to be attacked and possibly killed i think you should care care a little bit anyways guys that's going to wrap up our list of things that asian guys hate in 2022 obviously some points were a little bit more lighthearted and goofy than others but you let us know which one of these points apply to you and yes of course asian guys were using that term in a very broad sense i mean it could mean anything we just made it up and maybe these were things that just appealed to us and the people we hang out with you let me know in the comments section below guys um we got some more list move coming forward so i hope you guys enjoy this Till next time, we out. Peace. Peace.